U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin called on Kiev's allies on June 15 to dig deep to provide more arms and ammunition to fight Russia's invasion, particularly for air defenses. Addressing a meeting of defense ministers from the U.S.-led contact group of some 50 countries that give military aid to Ukraine, Austin stressed Kiev needed both short-term and long-term support as the war was a marathon, not a sprint. At the meeting at NATO headquarters in Brussels, Austin noted the group had already given Patriot, Iris T, and NASM's air defense systems that had protected Ukraine from Russian missile attacks. But he said Ukraine needed even more. I asked that the members of this contact group continue to dig deep to provide Ukraine with the air defense assets and munitions that it so urgently needs to protect its citizens, Austin said in opening remarks. As well as what it needs to keep itself secure from the long term from Russian aggression. And make no mistake, we will stand with Ukraine for the long haul. Last week, the United States announced a new package of more than $2 billion under the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative. This package includes additional munitions for Patriot air defense systems, Hawk air defense systems and missiles additional 105mm and 203mm artillery rounds, and more. And on Tuesday, President Biden authorized the 40th drawdown of equipment from U.S. stocks. The United States is proud to stand alongside some 50 nations of goodwill to provide Ukraine with the training and the equipment to help it succeed on the battlefield. As I say, our commitment to Ukraine is enduring. And this contact group remains united and determined. Our efforts are grounded in a broader strategic approach. We seek to ensure that Ukraine has the capabilities that it needs to protect its citizens and its territory and to deter further aggression from the Russians and ultimately to prevail over Putin's campaign of cruelty and conquest. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kremlin's imperial ambitions have inflicted unimaginable suffering on the Ukrainian people. Yet the Ukrainians continue to inspire us with their resilience, their bravery, and their unwavering commitment to keep their country free and secure. So together, we will stay united. And together, we will meet, we will rise to meet the, the challenges of changing circumstances. And together, we will stand by Ukraine for as long as it takes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.